Hey everyone, it's Vigilant Christian Mario, and you're here for a, another biblical teaching here today. In today's video, I'm going to be addressing tithing and giving. Um, if you follow me on my Facebook page, you've just seen probably that I did post uh, on this very subject, and uh, just by looking at the various different responses from people, uh, maybe I wasn't being 100% clear about what I was trying to communicate, so I want to make a video here today to uh, just clarify that um, so that we can get the truth on this issue. Um, so first of all, let me just go into the basics, you know, what is tithing? So basically in the Old Testament, what tithing was is that it, the Israelites were commanded by God to give the first 10% of what they would make um, back, okay? Um, so why would they do this? Now, remember, God is the owner of everything. He owns everything, so your money never really actually belongs to you. Um, you are a steward, and you will be judged according to what you do with your money. Um, everything in this life belongs to God, and we're just, you know, uh, blessed enough to receive it for a moment. Um, but here's the thing. The 10% that you're going to give back should come off the top, okay? It shouldn't be, you know, you, you spend 90% of your income, and then at the very end, then you decide, well, God, you know, for you and the work that you're doing in the world, I'm going to give 10%. That's not what tithing is. Tithing is giving the first 10% because we need to put the kingdom of God first. God is above everything, including ourselves, even with our money. Okay, so when we get a check, we should right off the bat eliminate, you know, 10%, 15 there. I know there's tithers out there who do more. Um, and send that into a ministry or something, um, an organization, a Christian foundation, or something that is glorifying God, that is preaching the gospel, teaching, or whatever. Something uh, that you've been blessed by, essentially. Um, and that's a great and awesome thing to do. All right. And now the other uh, thing that, that we're commanded to do is on top of our tithe. So on top of the 10% that comes off the top, we need to give. Okay. And this should be something that comes natural for Christians who are filled with the Holy Spirit. But unfortunately, in our world today, it just doesn't come naturally. Okay. What I'm seeing, even from my posts, is a lot of resistance uh, to Christians. It's, you know, oh, no, they're trying to get my money. Oh, you know, it's this attitude of, Un it's an ungodly attitude. That attitude doesn't come from God. Okay, God, as you can see in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 6, it says, Remember this, whoever sows um, sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Okay, so we're to be generous givers. And, you know, when there's a sick or there's a homeless person, um, that's when we're called to give. Okay, and I'm not making this video here today. I do need to clarify that for the very purpose of you sending into my ministry. That's not the case at all. Um, what I'm making this video to do is in hopes, and my prayer is at the end of it, that there's a whole bunch of work that God is doing in our world, and we're not supporting it. Okay, and what sickens me um, is that Christians who have this type of attitude will... For example, oh no, I'm not going to give to that foundation and that, you know, they're feeding the poor and all this stuff, or this guy, he's preaching the gospel, I won't give to him. But what they will do is turn around immediately after, and they'll go to Starbucks, okay, and they'll buy a, a coffee from Starbucks. Look at the logo, that's a satanic logo, that corporation is owned by illuminated men. Okay, um, then they'll turn around and take their kids to a Hollywood movie. Oh, let's take the kids to the movies. Um, now, Hollywood, if you know my my work, you do know, promotes a satanic agenda. So every cent that we give them goes to the ministering and the progression of Satan's kingdom. Okay, so come on, people. Really, realistically, those specific people, okay? You need to really, brothers and sisters, that's not right. You shouldn't have that type of attitude, okay? You should be wanting to give. Um, the first thing you should want to do is give into the kingdom of God, okay? And if you have a problem with giving into the kingdom of God, but you have no problem with supporting Hollywood and, and Starbucks and illuminated corporations, I'm going to suggest to you that you need to take that in prayer to God. There is something significantly spiritually wrong with you, okay? When we stand there on Judgment Day, we're going to be uh, judged for absolutely everything that we do, including our money. It talks about that in Scripture, okay? We're to be good stewards, and we're called to be good stewards who put the kingdom of God first, so is that what you're doing? And I just want to question that, okay? That's what this video is today. Um, I'm not saying that everyone's like this. There's a lot of good giving brothers and sisters um, out there. Um, so, you know, just really look in the mirror and check with yourself, you know? Are you that type of Christian that, you know, just holds on to everything, hoards everything, and is so tight with their money that um, they never give to anything? You know, and if that's the case, you really need to check those things out, brother. Now, I do need to point up an, a very important thing here. The enemy, okay, has set up a system in the world. Um, 
I'm going to call it the prosperity gospel. You guys are probably very familiar with that. It does exist. It's a false gospel, and it is preached by false teachers. Okay, So what the enemy wants to do is because he doesn't want any money coming into the work of God and, and feeding the poor and clothing, uh, or clothing and housing the homeless and all the things that God is trying to do, he sets up wolves in sheep's clothing who take advantage of this. Okay, So... I'm going to make videos in the future exposing the prosperity gospel. It's not of God. Um, God doesn't want you to be rich in terms of physical wealth in the world. Um, his wealth is, is out of this world. His treasures are stored in heaven, not on earth. Okay, So uh, rust and, and moth can't eat them down here. Um, that is wealth. So when you hear a preacher telling you that God wants you in a BMW and uh, that... Um, you know, some of the things they even say, brothers and sisters, and I do need to warn you, is they'll lure in a lot of this, of people by saying, you know, if you send a thousand dollars here, well, God's going to heal that cancer. Well, that's not how it works, okay? You don't need to send a thousand dollars into Benny Hinn so that you can have your cancer healed, okay? That's not how it works at all. Um, now, these men are going to stand in judgment for this. This is an absolutely satanic, evil thing that they're participating in. And I'll show you a picture. I mean, you see it at the church. They just lure these poor people in, uh, these poor, you know, Christians who get sucked into this, okay? But here's the thing. The scriptures say that we will attract teachers in accordance to our own desire. So if you have an internal desire for wealth and material and the world and, and its wealth, you will attract to yourself that teacher, okay? Um, Paul Washer did a very, very good teaching on this where he says that um, false teachers... You know, it's not poor little person being affected by the false teachers. False teachers are attracted to that person because that person already has within themselves a desire for those things, and the teacher just comes along, okay? Um, so, I mean, I'm going to get more into that when we get into the prosperity preacher thing, but um, it's very important that uh, we talk about that in this video here today. Um, and also, here's the thing, okay? You always have to use your judgment when you give, okay? I understand that. There's a lot of falseness out there. But at the same time, don't become paranoid because even if you've given to a false teacher who's going to use that money to buy uh, these crazy planes that they buy and these Lexuses and all these things, it's that preacher that's going to stand in judgment. God is just going to bless you for giving, and that's it, okay? Um, so, yeah, use your discernment. But at the same time, don't be so paranoid that you don't give to anything or anybody, okay? Um, so, just to recap, you know, tithing is 10%, brothers and sisters, we should be doing this, this should come out of the heart, we should desire to do these things, um, we should want to see the kingdom of God advanced, um, ministries do not, good ministries do not belong to that preacher, they belong to the body, we are many, but we are one, brothers, okay, this ministry, Vigilant Christian Ministries, isn't just mine, it's all of yours who, who have been affected by this ministry, you help this ministry, every time you click like, every time you've prayed for me. You don't have to send donations. That's not what I'm saying, okay? There are various ways to support ministry simply by sharing on your Facebook page um, these videos, okay? But if God calls you to help to help me, I pr that's, that's an amazing thing, okay? Because then we can come together and this ministry can go a lot further than it could if I ever did it on my own, okay? Because no Christian is to do anything on their own. We're a body. The, the hand isn't going to try and, and move without the forearm and the forearm doesn't try and move without the elbow, okay? We work in harmony, brothers. And this is what we're seeing. We're seeing a disharmony and a brokenness within the body of Christ. That is why we don't see the gospel going in and across the world, brothers and sisters. That is why the enemy's kingdom is being advanced the way it is right now. And we are being crushed in by sin and darkness, okay? It's because we have not learned to, le to work with each other. You know, I get people who comment, well, you should just pay for your ministry yourself. That's like the heart going... Well, Mr. Lungs, you should just do this yourself. Like, it doesn't make sense, okay? So, learn, first of all, that we are a body, we are many parts, okay? And that other brothers and sisters need. And just let go of greed and, and this hurt and, and that. And don't let prosperity preachers allow you to throw out the baby with the bathwater. There are good men of God out there who are sincerely teaching and preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ and they need your support. They're not supposed to do it alone. Read the scriptures. Go watch my video on the body of Christ. You are called to help them. You are as much involved in their ministry as they are. Okay? And the people that get saved through that are... are they all belong to everyone. Okay? Because God doesn't just use one specific person. He uses a whole bunch of people. Um, so, yeah. So... 
you know, brothers and sisters, please don't just go ahead and give to my ministry because I made a video like this. That wasn't the intent. What I, my real prayer is, is that this video would go out and open the eyes of, of some believers that are like this and that you would go to your church congregation and, and give into that mission trip that they're going to send over some evangelists over there in Africa. And there's people that never heard the gospel that now because of that money, because we live in a materialistic system in the world that it can't function without because of that means that they'll be able to fly that person over, people are healed of the gospel and they'll be uh, saved. Okay? Um, I would pray that, um, you know, that you would go out and, and, and Christian organizations that are feeding the poor, that you would give in to them, that you would tithe into them, okay, so they can feed the poor. All right? This should be the first thing that we do with our money and we should love it and we should desire to do these things, brothers. And if you don't desire to do it, I'm going to suggest to you that you need to go to God in prayer and look in your heart for greed, um, maybe hurt from being... being uh, taught false doctrine from a false preacher, uh, from the prosperity gospel, or whatever the case may be. Um, but brothers and sisters, we're called to be givers, okay? Um, just plain and simple, and that's it. So this is the Vigilant Christian saying God bless each and every one of you. Take care.